Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan, and your girl Fanny Lungo. and we are Fanny and, and Jesse. So, right about now, we're gonna do another video, reaction video. And first of all, I want to thank the people who actually suggested for us to do this one. You're the realest one will be, and also the guys who are out there just watching our videos constantly, sharing them. You guys are also amazing. Thank you so much. Get us to thirty thousand subscribers, and we will just you know be happy and celebrate together and whatnot. So. Today we're going to do another reaction video and this one right here is If all religions believe in one God, then why do we need to convert? This is by Dr. Zaki Naik here. It's a very good question and I really want to see what Dr. Zaki Naik will say here. So without any further ado, and I think he was in Qatar here, yeah? Yeah. Let's get it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Click to subscribe Believing Beings and press the bell icon to get notified about new videos. Yes, brother, your name and your profession. Yeah, my name is Jitendra. I'm a software engineer. I have a question. Uh, like you said, all religion scriptures are uh, giving same message that there are only one God. Then why we need to be convert in a other religion? We can't uh, understand our own religion and follow this thing. Why need to be convert? Brothers asked a very good question. Brothers asked a very intelligent question that if all the religions speak about one God, then why do you have to convert? Yeah. If all religions because are the Allah same. Because Allah converting from Christianity to Hinduism. Very good question. Hinduism to Christianity that's, or Islam. That's what the Quran says. Quran says in Surah Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 19, in the dina in the layal Islam, the only religion acceptable in the sight of our Almighty God is to submit your will to God. There, God Almighty sent only one religion. All the messengers preached only one religion. But when they preached the religion, the human beings kept on changing it. The moment the scriptures got corrupted, Almighty God sent a new messenger and a new religion. All messengers taught the same thing. There is one God, don't do idol worship, believe in him. As it kept on changing, then Almighty God sent the final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. All the messengers from Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all, all taught the same thing. Then Almighty God says in the Quran, in Surah Hijar, chapter number 15, verse number 9, we have revealed the Quran and we shall guard it from corruption. Now Almighty God takes it upon himself that this last and final revelation, the Quran, no one can change. Even if you want, you cannot change it. All the previous revelation, <coughs> By the passage of time, we human beings changed it. It was forgotten, it got changed, it got interpolated. Now when the last and final version, last and final revelation, if there's something like the Old Testament and New Testament, this glorious Quran is the last testament. This last testament, Almighty God says, He will protect it. Now what I'm trying to do, brother, I'm not trying to get division. What I am giving a very simple formula, which will not hurt everyone, which will not hurt anyone. The other people, when they talk, there is friction between religion. I believe in saying, Ta'ala wila kalimatin sawa im bayna bayna kum. Surah Imran chapter 3 verse 64. Come to common terms as been asked in you. Which is the first term, Allah na puta illallah. That is worship nanmat Allah. What I tell all the followers of religion, at least believe that one book, 100% is the word of God. So Hindu would not mind saying, I believe Veda is the word of God. The Christian would not mind saying, I believe that the Bible is the word of God. The Muslim will not mind saying, I do not mind believing that Quran is the word of God. What I give a simple formula, let us agree to follow what is common in all three. You know, Christian, Islam, Hinduism, these three are the largest religions of the world. All three put together is more than 50% of the world population, correct? Yes. More than 50, two-thirds of the world population. Two-thirds of the world population are Christian, Hindu, and Muslim. Yeah. Now, I tell, let us agree to follow what is common. What is different, we'll discuss tomorrow. What is not matching, we'll discuss tomorrow. Let us agree to follow what is common. Now, if a particular thing is common, is same in the Quran, in the Bible, and the Veda, would you mind following it? Yeah. Would you mind following it? If it's there in the Veda, would you mind following it? You wouldn't mind following it, correct? Yeah. Because you're a Hindu, correct? 
Same thing the Christian wouldn't mind following what is mentioned in the Bible. What I am doing, let us agree to follow what is coming. What is different we'll discuss tomorrow. So my son gave a talk on similarities between Islam and Christianity. It was more than one hour talk. Yeah. I have given a talk on similarity between Islam and Hinduism. Let us agree to follow what is common. Now when you do a comparative no, study, we come to... Sorry? Sorry to interrupt you. I am agreeing this thing that uh, this there is the only one God and we have to believe on that. Whether Sorry? What it, uh, I am agree that uh, concept that there is the only one God. Very good. Uh -huh. Whether it's uh, you said uh, uh, the father of Jesus you are calling somewhere I, uh, here or uh, he the Allah or he the permission of Parabrahma. What do you call? Who is the same one only. Only the name are different. Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. Na? This is your saying with your mind. Yeah, should I head. follow your mind or should I follow the Veda? Hmm? Should I follow what is in your mind or should I follow what is in Veda? Uh, in what is in Veda you are saying. Correct. So let me, what you are talking is half correct, half wrong. Uh, yeah, what I don't know about the other things. So therefore you hear, Quran says, Fasalu al zikri in kumtul moon. Ask the person who is an expert. I am a student of comparative religion, I am giving you references. Just because that lady behind saying Jesus is God, will you believe Jesus is God? No, I don't want to give any reference. No, I no. Does the Veda say Jesus is God? Huh? Does the Veda say Jesus is God? Does the Veda say Jesus is God? No. No. Does the Quran say no? Even the Bible does not say. So why am I supposed to follow that lady? She wants to give a speech here. She quoted one reference that was so wrong. She wants to preach without references. So let us follow the scripture. Now when you do a comparative study of the Bible and the Veda and the Quran, we come to know there is one God, that, that, that God has got no images, no statues, mentioned in the Quran, mentioned in the Bible, mentioned in Hindu scripture. If you read in the Hindu scripture, Sveta Sethar Upanishad, chapter number 4, verse number 19, it says, Na tasya pratima asti. It's a Sanskrit quotation which says, Of that God there is no pratima. Pratima in Sanskrit means a photograph, a picture, a painting, a portrait, a statue, a sculpture. Na tasya pratima asti. Of that God there is no pratima, there is no image, there is no photograph, there is no picture, there is no painting, there is no statue, there is no sculpture. Hinduism says that, Hindu scripture. Quran says that, Bible says that. Let us agree to follow one God who has got no image, who has got no idol, who has got no scripture. No scripture. It says that God does not have any, does not beget anyone. The Hindu scripture says, Veda says that, Quran says that, same thing mentioned in the Bible. Let us agree. So what we, when we do a comparative study, we come to know, Almighty God is one, has got no images, has got no portrait, does not have any children, does not have any parents. Let us agree to follow that. Second thing we come to know, that all the scriptures say that there is a final messenger to come, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Just before you, I gave the answer to the brother. You heard the answer? It's mentioned in the Hindu scripture about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Same thing is mentioned in the Bible. If you heard my son, he gave references from the Bible, right? From the Old Testament. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19. In the book of Raza, chapter number 12, verse number 29. In the Song of Solomon, chapter number 5, verse number 16. About Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He is also prophesied in the New Testament. In the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 16. In the Gospel of John, chapter number 15, verse 26. In the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 7. In the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14. He's talking about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So why don't the Christians believe in Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Why don't the Hindus believe in Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Now you tell me, it is mentioned in your scripture. The details about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that his father's name is Abdullah, his mother's name is Sumati. He will get the revelation in the cave at night time. He will have four companions. He'll migrate northwards and come back. All these details. Do you believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, brother? No, I can't say because I don't read these things. So who's to blame? I'm giving you reference, correct? Yeah, you are giving a reference. So then that means you have to go and check today. Yeah. And once you check today, if it's there, will you believe? I can't say because I am very... Huh? Can't say? <laughs> you believe is that the word of God. Now your word of God is saying last uh, and final. Uh, in that case, I can say simple. I am believing in one God. Uh, so call... one God is half. Uh -huh. no, no, it's one not God... full. No, only no. one God is one God part. Is, no, one God is one only is Allah or you can say Om or you can Parabrahma, whatever. 
Uh, Whatever, don't message, give yeah? it wrong name. Don't give it image. Anything you cannot it's say to God. It's not image. It's not Parabrahm is not image. You Sorry? Can't, if you call Parabrahm, you Brahma. can't say any. Uh -huh. Parabrahm. How is, is Brahma? Brahma means you don't imagine what is the thing. Okay, how does Brahma look? Have you seen photograph of Brahma? No, nothing. Not because I've seen photograph of Brahma. Not Brahma. Par Brahma means Brahma means is Brahmand. Why Brahma means Brahma? Par Brahma means Par Brahma. It carries the. Who is the creator of this world? We do, we don't we can't imagine this power. We can't imagine these things. How and uh, how he is looking? So we can't imagine his face and other things. His power even you can't imagine. So how you can imagine face and other things? So that Allah or Om Kar you say that the uh, I don't know do much. But Om Kar means it's a single one. Half what you're saying is right, half what you're saying is wrong. Because okay. today, uh -huh. today, and then if talking about brother, the Muhammad, uh, no, brother, just today, listen first me. Then today, I, when you ask any Muslim what is the image of Allah, he will not say anything. But when you ask a Hindu what is the image of Brahma, he will tell you. Brahma has got four heads on each uh, head of the crown. Brahma and Par Brahma, both are different. That things, no? Brahm, if you have Brahma, you cannot have Par I'm Brahma. I am not talking about Brahma. Is the you cannot God have Par Brahma. Brahma. You cannot have Par Brahma. Why? It's par Brahma. Par Brahma you cannot have because it is an superlative. You cannot have superlative for God. You understand? Brahma, para Brahma means superior to Brahma, correct? Para Brahma means the pare, means which you can't think about your imagination. I know it, brother. Yeah. All these words, so many of no. these words are wrong. Some words are correct. Therefore, don't use a wrong terminology for God. Your knowledge is limited, correct? My That's the limited. reason if your knowledge is limited, sometimes you give a name to Almighty God and make an image of that. Like Vishnu. They make an image. The attribute is good. Attribute is good, sustainer, we agree with it. But yeah. giving an image, we disagree with it. That's the reason what you have to realize. You cannot go against the concept of the pure definition of God. That God has got no image, correct? Yeah. Coming to the second part. You said you have not done research. I am asking you go and do research. I am giving you references now. Okay. I gave you so many references. You heard the references? Yeah. Or you go to my site, Rakir Naik. Mm -hmm. Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in Hindu scriptures, all the references are there. You check it up. It's it's available in my library. You know, I have a library of Hindu books and Christian books in Dongri in Bombay. It's all there. You go on the net. It's very clearly mentioned that the last and final messenger, the last and final avatar, the Kalki avatar is no one but the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Uh, then he's a messenger like a saint, right? Sorry. Uh, it's a son, a saint. Uh, Santo, you can say. No, Sant, Autar, Kalki Autar. Autar has got two meanings. One meaning of Autar, what people think, is Almighty God coming in bodily form, which is wrong. That is the definition in the Oxford Dictionary. Au, coming from Tra, means God sending someone. So if you say that God is sending someone, meaning a messenger, we agree with it. And the last and final Autar is the Kalki Autar. So my request to you is, that besides believing in one God, besides agreeing he has got no idols, you also have to believe in the last and final messenger Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I have given a talk on similarity between Islam and Hinduism. It's further mentioned in the Hindu scripture that you should not have alcohol, that you should not gamble. It's mentioned that the women should wear hijab. They should draw the head covering over the, over the head, over the bosom. All this is mentioned that you should not gamble. Same thing mentioned in the Quran, should not have alcohol, should not gamble. It's mentioned that you should do hijab. So if you hear my talk on similarities between Islam and Hinduism, and let us agree to follow what is common. We will, problem is, you talk about unity, but you don't want to follow. Who's to blame? You take me anything in the Quran, which matches with your way, I will follow. Anything in the Quran. Give reference number, chapter number, verse number, Dr. Zakir Naik will follow. Marat ka bacha. Right or wrong? I'm challenging you, anything you open your Quran with the translation, Dr. Zakir Naik, your Quran chapter number 5, verse number so and so, I will follow. I will not say, I will see, I will check, immediately I will follow. I know, you are a, obviously a scholar, I am not, not a I'm scholar. not a scholar, I'm a student. Okay, I'm a student. a student, but even I'm not a student, even I've not started to learn about this thing. So become a but student, when will, you be, when will you? No, I have just a simple question asked when all the scriptures are saying same See, thing. See, when the haq is there, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, will you say I'll check up and then believe? 
Two plus two is how much, brother? Two plus two is how much? Two plus two is how much? Four only. Four. Do you believe in that? Yeah. Or will you say I'll check up now? No. At the main basis of life, your creator, you want to check up. And two plus two is equal to four, you believe. This is the problem with us human beings. Our creator is there. Once you know, you should accept. No, what will my father say? What will my mother say? What will my neighbor say? What will my wife say? We think 20 things. If your father says two plus two is equal to five, will you believe? No. But if your father says, oh, don't read the Quran, then you don't read. No, no, I'm not saying to reading any books, uh, means Quran or Holy, Holy Scriptures. All can read and they can believe. But there's no need to conversion from one to the other. If, you, if I'm converting. You don't have to convert, you have to revert. There's nothing like convert. Convert means you go from one track to the other track. It's mentioned by the beloved prophet. Every child was born in Deen al Fitr. Deen al Fitr means accepting the God's commandment. When, when you grow up, you start doing idol worship, you start doing fire worship, so you become a non Muslim. So when you come back to Islam, the right word is revert, it's not convert. What okay. is it? Revert. You're saying. coming back to the original faith. No one is asking you to convert. And there's only one religion, religion of God. The religion yeah. Islam is submitting your will to God. I'm not telling you to go against God. <coughs> that submitting your will to God in Arabic is called as Muslim. In English it is called as submitting your will to God. Give it any name, no problem. At least submit. We are afraid to submit. Now that lady was taught by the church something wrong. She's believing. What can I do? Oh, Blind yes. belief. Yeah, then beliefs is uh, one part. They are believing uh, our beliefs. Believing in wrong things. I'm giving with reference what I'm trying to tell you. Follow your scripture. Follow your scripture. Even though your scriptures have been distorted, at least let us follow what is common. Right or wrong? Yeah, common so, we follow, we follow beliefs, we do practice. So now will you go home and check about the prophecy of Prophet Muhammad in the Hindu scripture today? Uh, no. <laughs> you will not check up today? I will try, I will not, I can't say anything. What is the use? I can't commit. <laughs> what is the use? That means you are not Marth Kavacha. <laughs> what is the use? What you are talking, uh, you are talking about uh, people should come to comment. No, it's not Why should we fight? I am telling don't fight, at least follow your scripture, you don't want to follow. Okay, I will. You are educated. You are a graduate, correct? Huh? Yeah. You are a. How much time you spend in, in or studying all these subjects? I am telling you, go two hours on the internet. You don't want to go. Who's to blame you or me? You okay. tell me anything in the Quran. I will go and find out today. Ask or not today? Now, just now. Tell me. I don't know about Quran. How can I ask? Because I want to follow the Quran. Okay, so suppose I am as a Hindu, I am practicing as a Hindu good, uh, as a good, uh, means I You are not practicing as a good Hindu, I am a good ah, Hindu. I am not, I am not practicing. I am a good Hindu. No. no, Hindu means what? Hindu means coming from the Indus Valley, India. I am come from India. Okay. You live in Qatar. Okay. If you live in Qatar, you can't be a Hindu. You live in Qatar, no? No, I am also came from there only. <laughs> no, where do you live but now? Huh? Where right do you live now? now? I am living here. For ah, so now you are not a Hindu. Okay, whatever, whatever. Because Hindu means living in India. I live in India. Okay. I am coming here as a tourist to give lecture, correct? Yeah. So Hindu by definition means a person who lives in the land of Indus Valley civilization. Okay. So by definition I am a Hindu. This word was bought by the Arabs. Okay. Bought by the Arabs. Therefore when I go to Saudi they call me Hindi, Hindi. Hindi. <laughs> If I follow Sanatana, Dharma, what did they mention? Ah, that is what was said by Swami Vivekananda. Hinduism is a misnomer. The right okay. word should be Vedantis, should be Sanatana Dharma. Sanatana Dharma. But you're not following Sanatana Dharma also. Okay, I'm not yes, following. Sir. But what I'm saying, if I follow the Sanatana Dharma in proper way, then at the time of if last... If you follow properly, you'll believe in one God, you believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, you won't have alcohol, you won't have pork, and all the ladies will start doing hijab. You and I will be one. Name no problem, correct? If you follow the Veda, if you follow Sanatatam correctly, you and I would be one. Right or wrong? Yeah. But you don't want to go home and do research. What to do? Hmm? You don't want to go home and do research. No, I will do. I will go home and research. That is Inshallah. A... When you will do? Today? Tonight? Yeah, not today, tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, Inshallah. Yeah. I am here for a week. Huh? I am here for one week in Qatar. <laughs> yeah. Do research and we will meet again, Inshallah. Okay? Okay. Thank you, brother.
this is the funniest Dr. Zaki life mm -hmm. has been. Uh, I can't stop now. He was not having it. He was like, oh no, man. Bro, bro, I'm, I'm here. No, you can't tell me to go. And I'm here. Let's deal with this right now. <laughs> it was an interesting video. I mean, mm. but it is a good question that he asked. Yeah, that's a really, really good Cause question. Because why do we fight. have to... It's Don't you think committing to one religion, in this context that he was asking, limits someone? Yeah. But Dr. Zakina's answer was nice as well. Yeah, he said, so. why don't we follow the common things in all these religions he mentioned? Mm -hmm. So despite what... But does that mean we shouldn't... It's not even convert. He said revert. So we shouldn't revert as long as we believe in the common thing that there is one God. Even today when <clears> you <throat> believe there is one God, you know you automatically are Muslim. So by a, default a christian will tell you no you're a christian yeah but <clears throat> when you look at christianity there is so many loopholes there like jesus is god mm -hmm. do you understand that those are the confused okay. ones we're speaking yes. about those ones that yeah. actually accept that there's only one god yes yes of course do you yeah. understand so when you when you uh, what you're saying is that when you believe there's one god you i mean it, it, it goes default to, to just be an islam also it can go to those Christians who don't go with the doctrine of Jesus is God. Do you understand? Even those uh, he Hindus or whatever who don't uh, worship uh, an idol or something that is named God or whatever. Do you understand? So, um, of course, the question is so heavy. And um, this is a question that everyone should like look into. And it's something that... But then there's still a loophole somewhere. If this is the last religion, why is it that the other religions that follow the teachings of Muhammad mm -hmm. but created outside Islam? Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, this is what I, I feel. Just stick to <clears throat> one God. Then just mm -hmm. stick to... I think that's the best answer yeah, anyone Yeah, that's can the give. best thing is just stick to one God because... Fine, you, you will follow all these uh, religions and whatnot. Of course, you can find some loopholes in there. The thing that we haven't found in Islam, um, the Quran is, is, is written in a way that you can't just go in there and challenge anyone. Even like Dr. Zaki Naik is so composed in a way that you can't come here and challenge me because Whatever you talk about, it's written here. But then it's like you saying understand? you can't challenge Andre Tate. Yeah, I mean, you you can, yeah, you people can. have <clears throat> practiced the way they can respond to people. What if, if Jesse comes at me, I know I'm going to say this. You're going yeah. to say, oh, funny, you did this. I'll say, I did this because of this. And he has a way of saying things Everyone to, has to a manipulate way of the conversation also. You know? Who? Uh, Dr. Zaki Naik. What if? Imagine just somebody comes out of nowhere and he has all this knowledge <clears throat> and then he challenges Dr. Zakir Naik and then that's going to be like the day where Dr. Zakir Naik converts I don't or think, reverts to I don't think it's hard to challenge Islam or the Quran because many people have done it, do you understand? Someone came up and said but there's these 37, if I'm not mistaken, 37, 32 mistakes in the Quran mm -hmm. Guess what? Muslims stand by the word and say no, it's not a mistake, and they explain yeah. what it's supposed to be. But should it be should it be in another holy book? Doesn't have to be the Bible. Muslims say, but here's a mistake. Defend this, and you fail. Yeah, Muslims I think have come together and say, yeah. let's not. I think let it's a way of defending. But again, how can you even defend <clears throat> that Jesus is God? Hmm? How can you defend such a thing when half the Christians believe there's only one God and that wasn't Jesus, the other half believes Jesus exactly, is God? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. How so there's that clash. That? That's why I said hmm? these guys have come together, thrown away all other versions of the Quran. Of course. Put it together. It's like it's the mistakes like, are saying this is not a mistake. It's like yeah, it's like you see how the Bible is. There's some loopholes in there. So the loopholes they have sieved it and they've picked whatever good that comes with the Bible. Do you understand? And then now, 
create that base. That's why you can't even try and I mean, yeah, of course, I mean, we can say, or anyone can come up with some loopholes in, in, in Islam and whatnot, but because of the way, they are, the, the way. unity that they have, if you go there and say that there's a mistake here, they will come at you and tell you, no, it's not a mistake, this is what it meant. Do you understand? And that's what so, I admire and advise other yeah. religions to follow, you know. So, if Dr. Zakinaik is telling you, please show me in the Bible where... <clears throat> Jesus said that I'm the son of God. Why can't Christians come out, come out and say, The son no, of God or he, I am God? Yes, so sorry, I am God, yes. People should come out and say, yes, he said that. Here, you understand? He said it, it's here. Because... My father and I are one. Yeah, I mean, most, I don't know, most, most likely something like that. You see, if millions of people come forward and say and believe and... and um, and stand by what and you believe. stand by what you believe. It comes to fruition. You know that. It doesn't you know? have. Even even the idea of God, us just trying to believe there is God. It was because of millions of people coming together saying there is God. Do you understand? So it's just. Uh, uh, it's. But then uh, this is not even about challenging anyone. Yeah, it's it's not about challenging. Just that trying to understand. Telling you to follow the common things in these religions listen to him yes there's something there anything else i feel uh there's so much there's so much that um you know what i can say about the whole thing is that to be honest we don't really know you know i mean it's just we are here because of our beliefs it's just because we believe that you know there is god but if anything happens in this realm that we live in today and something just comes out and just you know says you know what most probably you guys were wrong this is it you know but again out of the context we 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 forget sometimes that there are people who were living even before us the first people to live on this, to touch this earth, to set foot on this earth, what were they believing in? What was their doctrine concerning the aspect of God? Did they even know that they were created? Do you understand? Did they even know that there's something called God or something like that, you know? Mm -hmm. And there are so many things that we can look at and you can automatically say that something must have created all this you understand for example we can just literally look at let's say for example the sun the sun has never gone out for decades year in year out you've never seen a, a sun lagging at any point that's always come out and set come out and set come out and set so and we come we die probably other people come again they still see the sun do you understand what i mean so what does that even mean for us <coughs> what does that even because according to the bible says uh god created first day god created light yeah and then other things followed and whatnot i, I believe that's the, the thing so what is the thing that we should pay homage to Fast before anything else. Do you understand? I mean, uh, that, that's that's something just to think about. But anyway, it's a good question. Uh, let us know what you guys actually think about this video and the question that was asked. What do you think about reverting? And uh, if there's anything you want us to react to, let us know down below. Just give us. What does name. reverting mean? Just converting. Converting is same as no. We should, he said, don't use the word converting. Use mm -hmm. revert. So coming from, back. Coming back to okay, coming back to the source. Yeah. All right. I see. Um, what was I saying? If there's anything you want us to react to, let us know down below. Just give us the name or the link, and uh, we'll be sure to check it out. Uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in our next reaction video. And deuces.